and don't make any sudden movements. Oh, they're looking. They're following me. They're looking at me. So, uh. Joke didn't work, huh? Tough crowd. <laughs> I'm just. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Hey, guys. I'm just passing through. Um, don't mind me. What the hell just happened? There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Oh great, I picked up a pool of blood, the remains of the banquet. It's just rubbish. What am I supposed to do with the crow? Well, no matter. I'm just going to... Go... Wait a second. Wasn't this supposed to... The crows are gone. I'd better leave it alone. <laughs> Okay. Let's check upstairs. Nope. I have to use it for this. I didn't expect the crows. Seriously, that was that was amazing. Okay. Is there something here? For God's sake, what happened here? Look here. Alone. The writing in the walls reads, "Leave me alone." Who would have written such a thing? Someone who wants to be left alone? It's a letter. Dear Margaret, It's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper, angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed his horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter, your dear friend. Where's the music? The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hands. I'm writing what will... Shut up, crow! I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger. With a look... Bereaved of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know what shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where this... Where it's from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. What was that sound? A hairpin. It's for the door, for the balcony. An old wheelchair. There are more notes, a letter, and a feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. I don't know if this is intended that the sound just breaks off. It's a diary page. 
I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Leave me alone. Next room it is. What am I supposed to do with the crow? A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. An adult woman. She looks really pale. An old, severe looking man. His gaze unsettles me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. A young man. One of Anthony's relatives. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud. Of his valued animal, the paint looks fresh er around the lynx head. There's a crow behind the window. It looks like it's trying to get in. I don't think I'm supposed to carry around this... Wait, wait. I think I know what I have to do. It said delicate or thinner. Yes, it's open. I managed to open the latch. Stuffed links. It looks like the one in Anthony's rip in Anthony's portrait. Some torn out pages. They won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorious gazes, their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. A common hammer in good condition. I probably should. H how? How am I supposed to kill it? It's suffering. Come on. And it's a terrible thing to say, but it's getting on my nerves. Remains of chemical experiments. Some sort of spilled chemical product. Some strange books. They're written in a language I don't know. A map of the region with markings on it. few handwritten notes. That goddamn cat. He meows every night. And it's for me, I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows. I would let him ruin everything. I don't have any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will make him blind. You gabby gabby lynx. He won't confess. You wouldn't. Interesting. I've unlocked the door. Good for you. Aha! Wait, is that? Where's that room with the bowel in it? The bowl, I mean, for the cat. I have to do something with this crow. <laughs> I really shouldn't have picked him up, huh? Not this soon. Please <laughs> just keep making those noises. I'm sorry, guys. Is it here? No. I think it's something with the bowl for the cat. It must still be around. The crow is in the bowl. I 
just supposed to leave it like that? There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Maybe I can break it with the hammer. The cement wall, I mean. I don't want to make a mess. Are you serious? Hmm. I'm lost here. Well, let's go upstairs again. wall I can see a trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years and now it's gone yes because I found it hear a cat meowing in the distance. But where is it? It's not a cat. It's not a... That's supposed to be a cat. Where is it? Where's the cat? on the right. It must be here. It came in through the, the hole in the wall. Surprise, mother Ah, damn it, I missed the cat. Where did the crow go? Oh, I don't know, maybe the cat took it. <laughs> There's a trail of blood from the bowl to the hole in the wall. It's the next room. The cat Cat's meow is louder here. Well, now you have to get... The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. Well, start making a mess, man. The cat seems to be... Yes, I know! On top of a chest, there's a black cat. His eyes are missing. Good God! It almost ripped my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. <laughs> that was a cheap stuff, uh, uh, jump scare. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Only this knife can be useful. A knife. Knife. Fucking cat. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a knife? I'm lost again. My coat. And your top hat. It's too big to force the lock. How do you force it?
Ah, I need the knife for the painting. No. Nope. Stop thanks. It looks like he's very proud. The paint looks fresher around the lynx's head. Which we'll is spread out the fresh paint. I need the chemicals. God damn it. Chemicals. What's that sound? Oh right, the crow that is trying to get in. So the chemicals. It is then. I need Very good. Now I got it. This music. Oh, oh, right. I forgot it was Tuh. Damp the cloth with the thinner. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone. And now, we can see the original painting. This lynx is different. Its mouth is open, as if it was growling. Okay, so what was it for? What was it for? Totally lost. <laughs> I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. Stranger. Yeah, we read that already. I'm really lost right now. No idea what I'm supposed to do. You need to get in here. This door. Yeah, we tried that. It's the lynx's mouth. You idiot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Have some more depressing music while I waltz over there. But its mouth is shut, like it was before I revealed the original painting. managed to get the lynx's mouth open. The tongue has been removed. There's a golden key instead. A reinforced metal trapdoor. There's a golden keyhole. Yeah, I know. I need the key. Oh god, no! Anthony, no! The lifeless body of my dear friend. A portrait of Anna, Anthony's wife. It looks like those were happier times. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. DeWitt, Booker DeWitt, if you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you in my last shreds of lucidity. Lucidity. 
lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends. And when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reason beyond my comprehension, insanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my cl closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school, where we made the pact, where we all said that sentence that would always protect us, and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group, and yours, are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, to it. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. The adventure continues in chapter two. Well, well, well. That was quite... That was another cheap jump scare. Crow is flying in, killing. Uh, what do you mean killing? I mean, eating him. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will be playing the other chapters in the near future. I think. Not sure when yet, but when I do, I hope you guys are around. And I see you on the next episode. God damn it, mother f***ing eyeless cat.